I told him it's Christmas time, so can you send some money to my mom for her to buy rice to cook for visitors that are coming for Christmas? Then he told me like, why would I give your mom money? Why? Why should I give your mom money? Like seriously? She, he told me like in their tradition, if a uh, Christmas like this, he will buy gifts for the mom, and the mom will also buy gifts for him. So why would he give my mom money? That if he give my mother money, is my mom going to give him exchange of money also? That is how they do it in their culture. I said, no, like, you are like in-law to my mom, so you are supposed to give my mom money and for dating her daughter. He said, no, 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 we don't do that like that here. We don't do that here. We don't do that here. Then apart from that, then I told him that if he wants, he told me that he wants to marry me, you know, we are still growing, we are still kids anyway. Then I told him that if you want to marry me, you have to buy cow, you have to be bread bread. He said, he said, oh yeah, leave it there. Am I buying somebody? I'm not going to buy you. If you love me, you marry me because you love me. Why would I go and be getting? Hi guys, this is Ebony in the building. How are you all doing? Hope you all are fine. Please, if it's your first time of coming across this video, please don't forget to subscribe. And if you are my old subscriber, please thanks for watching and thanks for clicking. So guys, today I'll be telling you about my personal experience, what happened when I started dating a European man, my first European man dating. I'm going to tell you the story of what happened. So this day, I met this guy, he's Italian, then um, I was in a shop, I was in my shop working, you know. So um, his brother's wife is from Brazil. He's Italian, the brother is also Italian. The wife is from Brazil. So the wife came to the shop. He brought the brother's wife to make her hair in my shop and he met me there. He was like, oh, what a beautiful girl. I like you, you know, from talk talk like that. So from there he got my number, he contacted me. So on the day we went for a date, the first time we went for a date, we're supposed to go for clubbing, you know? So we went to the club, he told me let's meet on Saturday, he will come and pick me up by 10 p.m. So I went with him, he came to pick me by 10 p.m. So as I was going, then I was staying with my sister, my sister told me, eh, please as you're going, make sure you have money with you. I was like, why? He said, no, at least you make sure you have money in case of anything. I said, but I'm going with a guy. He said, but it doesn't matter, take money and you go with the money. So I went with the guy to the club. Guys, you can't believe me, like... On getting to the club, the, the entrance of the club, he told me it's 10 euros. I said, it's okay, let's go in, even if it's a little invited me. Then the next thing he said, where is your 10 euros? I was like, my 10 euros? This guy is inviting me out and he asking me for 10 euros. <laughs> I didn't want to be embarrassed, so I just quickly put on my, shook my hand in my purse and I gave him the 10 euros. So he paid, he added his own 10 euros to it and he paid the money. I was like, wow, what is this? I've never, I, the thing was drinking in my brain. I was like, I've never seen something like this in my life. Inviting me for a club and asking me to pay for the entrance of the club. That was my first. Uh, so guys, then this same guy, there's another day, then we started dating and I told him, we don't do that in our country. You are the guy, you are the boy, you don't have to. She said, but you're working. He said, you're working, I'm working. It's a normal thing, everybody pay for their own thing. Like, you pay your you pay your bills, I pay my bills. I said, no, we don't do that in our country, we don't do that. So I tried to convince him and he came to my own side and said, okay, I'll be paying for you anytime we're going out. I'll be doing the payment. So we agreed on that. So another day, I had to, I was invited by him also to go to one restaurant to eat and a dinner. So. That day I had a guest that came to visit me, a friend of mine that came to visit me from another city. So when he came, I said, okay, let's go together. After all, my guy is taking us out, taking me out. So just join me, let's go for a dinner together. So this guy, <laughs> the guy just, um, getting there after the dinner and everything we're eating, he called the receptionist, no, not the receptionist, the, the waiter, the waitress, like how much is our bill? He calculated the bill. Then he said, I'm going to pay for my girlfriend, mine and my girlfriend's meal. Then her friend is going to take off herself. I was like, what are you doing? Why are you embarrassing me? He said, no, it's not. He told me he didn't invite my friend. I'm the one that invited my friend. So if I want, I can pay for my friend, but he can only pay for just me 
and him alone. So that is another experience I had again, another experience. So I have to pay from my pocket to pay the a waitress, like pay for my friend's meal. So that is another. So as I was saying, even the first holiday we went together, we were supposed to go to, I don't know, UK or somewhere together. Then he told me, ah, let's go on holiday. Then he said, ah, really, on holiday? I said, that would be nice. So he was trying to book the ticket and everything. Then he told me, one person is 1,200, like I should bring my own part of it. I said, ah, why would I? He said, but all, have, all his friends that are going, they are all contributing money, even the girls. The, the girlfriends of so their so his own friends are all contributing money. Why am I not contributing? I'm working. Why what am I working for if I don't want to enjoy my money? I told him no, if I want to go on holiday to spend my money, I'm not going anymore. So that time I didn't go on that holiday. He said he didn't have enough money. But don't get me don't get it twisted because this guy I'm talking about then he was twenty years old, I was nineteen, so he was still a very young guy and he was still trying to manage, you know. So he was not that he was not a matured man i'm talking about the young ones you know what i you get what i mean so that's it so what i was trying to say what i'm trying to say is that if you're working you are self-independent why not spend your money for your own terms your personal terms why must you wait for a guy to give you money to spend if you have your own money and even when you spend your money the guy will value you more the guy will know that you're not there because of his money so i told him it's christmas time so can you send some money to my mom for her to buy rice to cook for visitors that are coming for christmas then he told me like why would i give your mom money why why should i give your mom money like seriously she, he told me like in their tradition if a uh, christmas like this he will buy gifts for the mom and the mom will also buy gifts for him so why would he give my mom money that if he give my mother money is my mom going to give him exchange of money also that is how they do it in their culture i said no like you are like in law to my mom so you're supposed to give my mom money and for dating her daughter he said no 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 we don't do that like that here we don't do that here we don't do that here then apart from that, then I told him that if he wants, he told me that he wants to marry me, you know, we're still growing, we're still kids anyway. Then I told him that if you want to marry me, you have to buy a cow, you have to buy bread, bread. He said, he said, oh yeah, leave it there. Am I buying somebody? I'm not going to buy you. If you love me, you marry me because you love me. Why would I go and be getting these things? So these are the differences between some, you know, tradition and uh, culture of different groups. So that is what I have for you today. These are some of the funny, funny things that I will never remember. I will never forget because I keep on remembering all these things. So, but to me, these things they are then it was so funny to me. But now I think it's a very good thing. Like, be self independent. Um, I think it's a very good thing. Like, we should uh, the way we do it in Africa shouldn't be so. To me, to my own understanding, because. Dating should be some like date someone because you love someone. Date some date someone because you are compatible, like you you want the person, not because the person will give you money, because the person have to pay your bills. Because in Nigeria now, most of uh, most people we date because of interest. Like if I date you, you can pay my house rent. He will be able to pay my house rent, or he will be able to buy food for me pay my school fees so if you cannot afford those things i'm not dating you so i think it's not a very good idea i think we should date because we really love someone because we want to be with that person and we should be self-independent mostly for those that have female children please if your daughter is going out make sure you give them money don't make them depend on men it's not nice when they have their own money, they can do whatever they want with their life. They won't be under someone that someone will be telling them, do this, don't do that, you know. That's what I'm trying to say. So please, that is a little experience of what I want to share about my first experience dating a European Italian man. That is my own experience. I'm not saying that all of them are like that. But remind me, remind you, I told you he was just 20 years old, he was a growing boy, he was still under his parents, he was doing a part-time job, he was not rich. I'm not talking about those that have money that are already matured men, I'm talking about the growing ones. The growing ones, they are mostly like that, the young ones, they are mostly the students, they are mostly like that. 
I'm not talking about the workers and other big men that are already married, they are divorced, they are big. I'm not talking about those ones. So that is my own personal experience I had with this particular guy. So that is what I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to hear more about my story, my personal story, write down in the comment section. I will be giving you more of this. Thank you. And please, if you've not subscribed to my channel, please don't forget to do so. And thanks for watching. I will catch you in my next video. Goodbye. It's your girl, Ebony Veramente.